Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we are going to be <laughs> dividing a three-digit number by a two-digit number. Okay, let's get started here. Hey, when you get a big number like that, don't worry. We're going to take it step by step. Easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. All right, let's get started. 25 has to go into 600. All right, we have to kind of figure out how we're going to do that. First of all, can we put 25 into 6? Can't do it, can we? So then we move it over to 60. We're just going to be working just with 60 for right now. So sometimes I like to take a piece of paper and cover that up so it doesn't look too scary at all. So how many times can I put 25 into 60? Well, 25 is like a quarter. You got 25 cents, and then two quarters is 50 cents, three quarters is 75 cents, and four quarters is $1. I think I can put 25 into 60, what do you think? Two times. All right, let's try it. So I'm going to put two right here. Two times 25 is like two quarters would be 50 cents or 50. All right. So then what I do is I divide, multiply, and now I have to subtract. All right. So I'm going to put a line right underneath here and put my subtraction sign here. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract. What is 6 minus 5? 1. Or 60 minus 50 is 10. So I put 10 right here. Now what I do is bring it down. Drop it down. Drop that next number right down. Right over here. So now we have 100. Remember when I was talking about quarters? When you have four quarters, that equals a dollar? That's the same thing right here. 4 times 25, if you work it out right here, 4 times 25, 5 times 4 is 20, carry the 2, 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 2 is 100. So I put the 4 right here, 4 times 25 equals 100. And I have no remainder. Don't put a remainder of 0, just, just leave it blank. Wasn't that fun? Let's do another one. Yeah. All right. Welcome back. Hey, at any time you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video. Try to work out this problem and then come right back. All right. Let's take a look at it. Now, remember before we were working with 25 and 2 times 25 is 50. So sometimes what you have to do is you kind of have to estimate, kind of have to do a little bit of guessing to try to figure out how many times I can get this number into this number. Remember, we're going to worry about 60 right now. So I know if I took 25 plus 25 would be 50. Let's see what 27 times 2 would be. So I'm going to go ahead and put 27 times 2 right here. So 7 times 2 would be 14. Carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 4. 4 plus the 1, 54. I definitely could put 54 into 60. Let's, let's raise it up one more. I just want to see what happens. 27 times 3. So 7 times 3, 21. Put the 2 up here. 3 times 2 is 6, plus the 2. All right, so that is 81. 3 times 2 is 6, 7, 8. Kind of have to always check myself. When you're doing problems like this, big problems dividing, you're going to have a lot of little uh, uh, multiplication problems you're going to be writing on the side. Sometimes you might want to use a scratch piece of paper for that. And it might come around later on where you're going to need one of these. So right now, I'm going to stick with this one right here. 72, or 20, 72, 27 times 2. So I'm going to put the 2 right here. 2 times 27 was, yeah, 54. All right. So what I did is I did a little multiplication right now. And now I'm going to go and subtract. I'm going to put my subtraction sign here, put a line underneath there, and go ahead and subtract. Whoa, I've got, to, I've got to start. Remember the subtraction with the borrowing and all that? We got borrowing and regrouping. That's what we have to do here. So I'm going to put a line through the 6. That will be a 5. And then this turns into 10. So 10 minus 4. What is it? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 6. 5 minus 5, zip, zero. All right, so what do we do next? Bring it down, drop it down, drop it down. Bring this number all the way down here, drop it down. 
Now we have to decide how many times can we put 27 into 60. Let's take a look at our figures here. Well, we know that 2 times 27 is 54, and 3 times 27 is 81. Too much. Bring it down. We're going to be using this number here. All right. So let's put another 2 right here. So 2 times 27. What was it? Same thing, 54. Subtract that. Now remember, I, I, I did the same thing right there, all right? So we put 5, 10, 10 minus 4, 6, pick up sticks, 0, all right? Now, I don't have any more numbers to drop down. We're at the end. This is our remainder. This is what is left over. So we put an R right here. R, matey. And we put a 6 right there. So our answer is 22 with a remainder of 6. Ready to try one last one? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right, welcome back. Whoa. <laughs> there's, there's a lot more numbers in there. There's no more zeros. This might be a little bit of a challenge, but I know you can do it, my math ninjas. All right, let's get started. First of all, we need to figure out how many times we can put 23 into 58. Now remember, if you want to take that little piece of paper there and cover it up, so what I do is I put a piece of paper right here so it doesn't look too scary, just like I would if there was a spider crawling around. So, whoa, you say spider? Oh, okay, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. Okay, all right, let's see here. 23 goes into 58. Let's pretend that, let's round that to 20, all right? So 20, and then 20 plus 2 would be 40, and 20 times 3 would be 60. It's getting really close there, isn't it? So... I, I, I'm putting, putting my bet that it's going to be probably 2, but let's try to do a little figuring right here. 23 times 2. All right, 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. All right, still a little low. Let's see what 23 times 3 is. Got to put my uh, multiplication symbol there. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. Pick up sticks. So we got 69. Whoa, that's too much. We got to drop it down. Drop it down to 46. All right, so 23 times 2, put the 2 right there. 2 times 23, 46. All right, now we're going to be doing some subtraction. I think I can move this paper over here a little bit. All right, not too scary. All right, let's do some subtraction. 8 minus 6, uno, dos, one, two, two. 5 minus 4, uno, one. All right, I can't put 23 into 12, can I? No. So I need to bring that next number down. Drop it down. Drop it down. Right. Do, 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 do. You can add those sound effects. Those are pretty cool, aren't they? All right. Now, 23 goes into 123. Do I have anything like that? No. So then I need to start making a couple more uh, problems here, don't I? I got to figure out how many times I can put 23 in there. So I know that if I had, if that was 20, let me see, 20, 40, 60. 80, it might be 4 or 5. Let's try the number 4, all right? So I'm going to put 23. It's not 3 because 3 is, is 69. So let's try 4. So 3 times 4 is 12. Put the 2 here, carry the 1. And when 4 times 2 is 8, then plus the 1 would be 9. Well, let's see if we can push it. One more. 23 times Five. See what I mean talking about a scratch piece of paper? You're going to have a lot of little problems on the side here. That's the only way to do it. 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 5 times 2 is 10. Plus the 1 is 11. I think I'm pretty close. If I went to 6, I'm, I'm really sure it's going to be over. So let's go ahead and use 5. So I'm going to put 5 right here. All right. 5 times 23. What do we have? 115. So I'll put 115 right here, subtract, I'm going to have to do a little regrouping, don't worry, we can do it, borrow 1 from the 2, that'll be a 1, this turns into a 13, what is 13 minus 5, we see, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, put the 8 right here, 1 minus 1, 0, you, you don't even have to put 0, alright, it might get a little confusing, that's it. This is it. This is your remainder. There's no more numbers to drop down. That is it. We are finished with a remainder of 8. 
It is 25, remainder eight. Yes, you did it. I'll get, uh, I wonder if there's a way we can high five on the camera. Just put your hand on the lens. Yeah, a yeah, little fist bump. Boom, yeah, <laughs> we did it. Yes, I'm so happy. Hey, check out my other videos. I'm going to have a lot more videos on problems like this. You can do some examples. And we got a lot of other fun videos on this channel. I would really appreciate it if you hit subscribe, hit that likey button, send us cookies, and have a fun day. Adios.